All right, so we just did the Forest Friday, and I was a little skeptical on going this year, only because I got to wake up at 5 to go to work, and it starts at midnight, so that kind of really breaks your night up. But then my buddy was like, hey, I'll go there early, I'll get in line, you show up 15 minutes before they open, we'll run in, do our thing. My, my uh, aggressive nerd speed walk is a little down right now because I got my knees done last Thursday, so it's only been about a week. So I figured I didn't want to wait in line all night and have all my fellow nerds running by me and then I get down there and then there's absolutely nothing. But thank God for Funko Pops and Star Wars 6 inch black series because that's pretty much all anybody goes for. If you're going for 3 and 3 quarters shit, you can pretty much just walk all the way down there and get everything that you want. Or sleep in, go the next day and you'll probably still be able to come up on a full set. So first off, the thing I was looking forward to the most was the Mega playset. It's been a long time since they did something like this. So I was really looking forward to it. It's a little bit of a letdown at the price point at $200. If you go to Target, you get you spend 100, you get 25 back. So if you are going to pick this up, I think that deal's over. Go to Walmart. I think it's like 178. It is cool. Is it worth it? Um I don't know, not, not really, but I really wanted it, so I don't really give a shit. And here's, here's what's weird about it. It's BB-8, which is basically the light side of the forest on the outside, and on the inside, it's like the dark side of the forest. So it's like good and bad. Um, the whole BB-8 thing doesn't really make any sense to me because, I mean, how are you, 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 if you want to display a big BB-8, you go get like that Jack Pacific one or, so I don't know, it, it, doesn't make a lot of sense, but I did want it in my collection. We're actually going to check this out first. Then we have the Kylo Ren's TIE Slicer. This is actually a really cool ship. Like always, it could be a little bit bigger. Really looking forward to getting into this. We'll check that out probably after the play set. I think we'll just go in order of how I'm showing it to you. So if you want to skip around on these videos, you kind of know when they're coming. Um, Resistance Sky Speeder. This ship is actually really cool. I already checked out my buddies. Um, really looking forward to this one. Then you have the Resistance A Wing Fighter. We got tons of A Wings already, at least I do. But hey, I guess I can always use one more. And then you have the Cantino Bright Police Speeder. This thing I was actually thinking about passing on because I didn't think that this thing was going to be in the movie. And then I found out that it is going to be in the movie, or at least hopefully it's going to be in the movie if it doesn't get cut out. Kind of a weird looking ship. Should look cool on the shelf. The thing I was mostly looking forward to was this Rathar. This is the thing that I took a picture of early, got in trouble, had to take the picture down. And now I have it just a few months later, or two months later. So I didn't really have to wait long to get that. Really looking forward to this. The Imperial Probe Droid comes with Darth Vader. Um, I already have one. This one's much nicer. Normally I get bummed out when I buy toys that I already have. This thing is such a big improvement that it really doesn't bother me. And then the two packs, I wasn't really stoked on either one of these. For one, you get Ray and um, and a guard. Um, I just bought this Ray, and now I gotta buy another one to get this guard. I, I don't know, it, it kinda sucks, they talk, but whatever. And then you get Boba Fett and Han Solo. I got tons of those, so I wasn't really looking forward to this. They talk, it's a really good Boba Fett. Basically, all this stuff talks now. I don't know how long that's going to last for, because back in the day, they also did these little, like, stands, and then they used to talk too, and then when they get sick of making that, they mix it up, they get another gimmick, and then they go in that direction. So this whole talking thing is cool. We'll see how many figures they actually make that do talk. Now let's check out this place set. Alright, so I'm, I'm gonna attempt to transform this thing and hopefully I won't embarrass myself too bad. First off, you take the antennas, you fold those down, you pull this little base out. There's a little lock here. And then there's a button here. You can push those. And then this thing will tilt up like this. And you pull the head out. 
We flip this tab up. And then that's basically it for that. Turn it around, pop up his chair, pull that part up. The sides just come out. And you basically clip this one in here, clip this one in here. This part comes down. That's basically All right, it. so here's this play set. It is pretty massive. You see that my board only goes to 16 inches tall. So this thing's probably about 20 inches tall. So it's definitely pretty big. I like how the layout is, you know, like kind of how it stacks, kind of like a pyramid. It is pretty cool. So we'll start down here at the bottom. Here's a little bracelet deal that you're probably not gonna wear. Could you imagine if you were in your toy room and you had this thing on and then you were making these figures talk and then one of your friends came over that wasn't like a nerd and well, that, that'd be hard to explain. And there it is making sound. It's kind of like a motion sensitive thing. So when you move it, tap it, it makes sounds. So over here, starting on the bottom, this is kind of like the trash compactor set. Uh, God, that's weak, man. That's just like, it's a sticker. And it does talk, like there's a little sensor right there. It's hard to see. So you basically hold this. If you want to turn this on, it's not on. You basically just tap it. It's got the little lights on so you know it's on. And you just hold it. So that's how that thing works and this thing when you, you can usually get more sound out of it if you hold it up to something like a figure or something you just keep tapping it like that and it'll do different phrases as you're going I'm, I think that maybe this thing just does one sound oh, that's kind of like the whole deal there and then next to that you got this torture chamber um, with the chair that thing's pretty cool. If you put it on the back pay, you can still kind of close this thing up. I don't really know why you'd want to do that unless you're going to put this thing away. Then over here, this thing is just really stupid to me. It's got like this big sticker and a stormtrooper. So I don't like the trash compactor thing. I'm probably going to take that sticker thing out. But you got to leave in this bottom piece for the... that. It's crazy. I don't know what's inside of that. But this thing is like really small. Let me get this out if I can show you. So the little sound chip is like right here inside of this thing somewhere. Whatever it is that activates it. So I'll probably take this thing off. Just put that thing on. I think it'll look better without that big stupid sticker. Then if you look inside of here. Let me get a light. That's kind of, I don't know, I, I'm thinking like the torture chamber or something. It's got the sticker on the back that kind of takes you down the hallway. I don't like when they put like characters on the stickers. That kind of ruins it for me. Like I think that'd be much cooler if there wasn't a stormtrooper on there. The chair, let me unplug it. So you get the chair out of the way and okay, now you can actually see in there pretty good. So that's kind of like a cool little room. It's got the torture chamber chair. You can like bolt somebody on here. Maybe I'll do that here in a minute. And then over here on the right, you have these stupid stormtrooper stickers. And this is the same thing. Like, so you can basically unplug this thing, take those off. You gotta leave this on for the sound thing. And then this thing also activates. So that's kind of a cool thing. Um, I mean, I, I dig it. And then it's got buttons on here. I uh, can't really remember which one does what. I think this one, there's a trap door here. There's a bridge and that thing explodes. So the one on the left, let's see. Okay, that lowers the bridge down. That's kind of cool. The middle one, it's got a, I don't know. It's either the trap door or that bridge falls down. Okay, so the middle one activates that little trap door, which will make your figure fall down into here. Now this is a cool button. This is the one I like. So you push this button, this bridge kind of falls off, shit lights up. 
Definitely digging this one. Like that's kind of a cool little feature there. So I definitely like that. And then this gun here, if you it's on a base that turns, so if you turn this all the way, it makes sound. I think that's pretty cool. Then the sticker here has another stormtrooper on it, which I didn't really care for. Um, I like that it's kind of like the space wall things that you're used to. That's definitely pretty cool. If you come up here, you got two more buttons. That one activates the light, like that one. A blast sound. Comes with two action figures. Um, I'm definitely hoping they make like a like a black series one because this five points of articulation on Snoop doesn't really work because he can't really sit in his chair like that. So that that definitely sucks. So we'll have to, hopefully they'll make one with like a cloth robe or something. That should be a little bit cooler. We'll check him out in a second. And then over here on the chair, this part extends. You can push this down like to, before you can fold it back up into BB-8. And then there's another sound thing up top right here that's got these little symbols on it. I have been expecting I'm pretty sure that's all that says on there. I have been expecting you. So definitely like that. That's the playset. Let me show you these so two here's things. a Snook, and I'm really excited to finally get this guy. Like, I definitely really wanted him. For one, I just want to see, is this guy going to be a giant? How big is he going to be? He is pretty tall. Like, he's definitely the tallest one so far. And the detail on this, like always, they killed it. Really good job. The likeness is perfect. The robe... I know everybody's on the fence about it. I mean, it's a gold robe. It kind of looks like a bathrobe, but it, hey, I, I'm digging it. I like the the ring on there. I'm assuming that's like a black lightsaber crystal for his ring. I'm curious to see if that actually does something, if that turns into a sword or if it's just for jewelry. And then the texture on his robe, they've really killed it on this. Like, I'm definitely looking forward to a black series one with a cloth robe where I can kind of put him in that chair. Um, the five points are, are of articulation. Normally I like it. On this figure, it definitely doesn't work. Like, when the robe, it, it, it's just not working. If they would have did a cloth robe or something, or one of those slip-on robes that kind of goes over them, something like that would have been a lot cooler. Um, this robe, I'm trying to get you a good shot of his ring there. Oh, there you can kind of see it. Well, there's the ring. Tons of little detail. Like, look, they, they painted like little brown here. They killed it on this figure. I was really looking forward to it. He's actually the one I was looking forward to the most. Really digging him a lot. And then here's his guard. Um, this red costume. Like, all these guys are different so far. Um, I'm really digging this too. Like, this is really cool. I, I love the axe. I don't really understand the axe considering everybody has like laser guns and lightsabers. And so I'm not real sure how that's going to stack up with everybody's weapon, especially if this guy is supposed to be a badass. I'm curious to see if he's actually going to do something. I mean, we've seen these guys in almost every movie so far, and pretty much they're just eye candy. Once again, with the robe, like skirt thing, the five points of articulation doesn't really work that well because of this, something like this. Like, if they'd have did like a cloth one on the bottom, once again, this is another figure I'd like to get in like the black series or a different one because there's so many different ones of this costume made. So there they are. Let me uh, show you the place. All right, that so I'm not used up. to having action figures that talk, so I forgot to show you what they say. So let's go ahead and do that. So to wake this thing up, you usually just have to tap it. When that orange light is going, that means it's ready. You just kind of hold it anywhere around the figure. And then sometimes these guys say about three fr phrases. So in order to get them to do that, you just kind of tap this while it's next to them. And then usually they say something different. Uh, 
I guess that's it for that guy. Let's check him out. There's been an awakening. We will crush them once and for all. The resistance will soon be in our grasp. So last year they gave us these little crappy extra parts to like build a gun and we threw all those in the trash. But this thing, you have to admit, this thing's pretty fucking cool. There's been an awakening. Alright, so here's this thing all set up on my shelf. It doesn't really fit that well. I had to raise it up a little bit so I had some PVC pipe in the garage. Cut that, kind of made a little spacer. It actually looks pretty cool under there. For this other glass shelf, we'll kind of divide it so it brings it up otherwise this thing really hangs far off the shelf and that just really wasn't working for me at all as far as the characters that i put on it i pretty much just put characters on there from the last jedi eventually i'm sure i'll fill this sucker up and put characters all over it so i got jar jar binks in the chair who else would you put in there up here we got poe stormtrooper kylo up here hawks in the back I'm not real sure this is how it, if this is how it's gonna look in the movie, but I'm digging this playset. I don't know if it's worth 200 bucks, but if you want them to keep making shit like this, I highly recommend that you go buy one. If you really don't give a shit if they make stuff like this, then wait for a clearance because I'm sure this thing's gonna be like 60 bucks after Christmas. Thanks for watching.